Okay, hey guys, and welcome to another video. This one's kind of cool because I'm actually going to watch my short film, Illinois, and kind of do like commentary on it. But this is my very first film, short film that's been uploaded to my channel, but I have a lot of other short films that I'm going to upload soon, and I also have some that are not. I have a lot of halfway short films, which I hate because they need to get done, but it's just like things happen with different people and whatever. But uh, yeah, so I have two that are finished that should be uh, up soon. But yeah, so I'm gonna watch this and uh, just comment on it. So if you guys are interested in that, then keep watching. Here we go. Okay, I just wanna say, I was really proud of this intro. Like, really, really, really proud of it. I remember, it took me a long time to finish, but when I had it, I was like, oh man, because it just seems so seamless and perfect, and it has the same exact font from the movie, the original movie. Oh, I was just, man, I'm proud of that. I really am, like, a lot. Okay, now here the opening shot. This is, I filmed this, most of this movie on location, so it's the same exact uh, locations that the original movie was shot at, which I thought was pretty cool. Like, that's one thing that I wanted when I decided to do this film. I was like, I want to make sure that I'm doing it at the actual locations. Uh, there was a few locations that I couldn't really get to, like Michael's house, because it's on a busy street and it's so noisy, it's by like a train. Like, this metro thing always passes, so it's just really difficult to shoot there. And I also shot a majority of this around when the movie came out. So there was just, like, crowds of people everywhere because it was so fresh in the media again, you know, to the public. Um, so in this part, if you notice, there's leaves on the ground. And what I think is cool is that, like, I had to, just like the original movie, I had to add my own leaves to the ground <laughs> because... The street was just empty so if you notice that all the leaves are like directly in front of the camera and then if you look further like across the street there's nothing so I added those myself um I wish the shot would have been a little wider but it's okay I mean you know looks pretty good let's keep going oh and also those were um the birds chirping, I really, really, really wanted that. Like, I was so particular about each and every scene that was in this. So I was very particular about having birds chirping directly after the intro and having, like, that... Which also, I was originally going to use the music from the first one, but then when I heard the soundtrack for the second one, I'm sorry, for the remake, for the new movie, <laughs> I was like, man, that sounds cool, so... I switched it last minute and I changed it to the new song and then I just I love the way it's like dun, 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 dun. all slow then it goes black and then when it comes out you hear birds chirping like what this is a nice neighborhood what are you talking about so yeah that was intentional everything in here was intentional you'll see <laughs> and that's me walking I wanted to make it to where I was like very like ugh, like everything you know I'm on my way to my babysitting job. It's like, ugh, you know, it's, I'm bored. I'm by myself. I have to work on Halloween. Like, that sucks. You know, I could have been at that rocking party with Ryan. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And this part I loved so much. Oh my goodness. So I really, 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 really love this part because I wanted to make it to where this is me entering Haddonfield. This is, the moment when the worlds collide, when Luna Miao <laughs> or Deborah, my character, enters the world of Michael Myers. So that's why I wanted to make sure that one of the main scenes or one of the first scenes you see is me entering into this world. And um, what what's well, kind of cool? Well, okay. So originally I was gonna have Michael pass through there, so it would kind of solidify the story like oh michael myers and this is the original location but in the end i was like no i want the worlds to collide with like luna meets haddonfield entering michael myers's world so yeah let's keep going
Okay, then here. This is cool too because also when we were filming on this day, we had to film the Michael scenes last because um, there was a lot of trouble getting the costume. I had to order everything online and that just was like a huge fiasco. It, like, it just wasn't happening and I almost thought I wasn't going to make this film because I was having a hard time finding a suit that I liked, like the um, coverall that I liked and also a mask that I really liked. And for like a decent price too, so I was almost not going to do this short and then like release a different one first. But then everything kind of fell into place and it's weird how people say like when something's meant to happen for you, it just happens and you don't even have to try. Well, that's kind of how it happened with this one because things just started like falling into place really well. But um, the day we filmed this, we were already, we already felt kind of awkward because we were going to be filming in front of essentially someone's house. I mean, because people live there, so obviously, you know, it was concerned with that. But they never came out and told us anything, and we tried to do it, like, really, really quickly. We were there maybe about, like, an hour. So there's these, this, there was this couple from out of town. They were from the UK, and they were so excited because they were visiting all the Michael locations. And it just so happens they run into someone who's dressed like Michael at the location. So they were taking, like, Snapchats and boomerangs and Instagram photos and stuff, and they were really happy, like... I mean, and Justin, the guy who played Michael, he was, like, really cool about it. He's like, yeah, sure, you know, so that was cool. I have, um, <laughs> I recorded that, too. But, yeah, let's keep going. And then here, I was really particular with the music, too. I wanted it to be where I was walking, nothing happens. The second I see him, boom, it's like, Dee! Like that a lot. And I did want a scene of him turning back into the bushes, like, you know, kind of stepping away but and I did get it but I didn't like how it looked after all so I was like nah and then here I had to actually there was so many cars because the street that I'm getting to is like a main street so there's tons of cars and like all this noise so I had to do the audio at home and try to match my lips perfectly to this phone call, which I think I did a pretty good job, but now that you guys know, you guys will probably be like, no, you didn't. But no one said anything, so you guys didn't know until I just told you. All right, let's skip a little forward. Okay. I'm only skipping forward because the movie is like 18 minutes long and would be here forever. But okay, this part I really liked. This was kind of just on a whim. I wasn't going to do this. I was also going to do it in the original alley, but then I thought, no, nah, like, I just want to do it here. And originally when I was trying to find a sound, like, I'm like, what sound could this character turn back in here? Because I wanted it to be where, like, she kind of is now on edge and she, like, has a vibe, like, is someone following me? So you hear, like, weird things. Originally I put footsteps, but then I'm like, where the heck would those footsteps be coming from? Cut that out. Then um, I also had trash cans falling, but, like, where are the trash cans at? And then I also had, oh, I also had, but it sounded like a joke, though. I had, like, a girl, like, a muffling sound, like, like, that sounds so funny. Damn, I should, I should upload those up. That would be funny. But yeah, in the end, I settled on a cat because, one, there's always cats in the alleys. Two, they're always, like, fighting or making noises and stuff. And then three, it's, like, a nod. It's Luna Meow, so. Yeah, I thought that was good. Ooh. Hey. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay, so this is just, you know, that I had to do like a little sign just that way the people, the audience would know what the heck was happening because without it, like I'm not, you know, you wouldn't know what I was doing or whatever the heck. So I had to add that little note and it had to be like big and bold like that. Oh my goodness, and on this part, we, I had to do this so many times because it was always like cars passing or loud planes or whatever. But also, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have it too. Like one time, like I'm going down the stairs and it's it's coming out perfectly. Like everything's just seamless. Some guy pulls into the driveway in the next house and it's like, like this really like Michael Jackson S type of like kind of music. And I'm like, really? <laughs> 
I'll, yeah, that's, oh, man. I always laugh when I see that. Yeah, this part, I was like, where the heck do I hide the keys at? I don't know. And then I'm like, okay, in this plant. But then it's like an awkward place to get it. If you notice, like, what? That doesn't look natural. But I just didn't feel like, why would anyone hide their keys anywhere else? And I could have did it under the mat kind of thing. But, nah, I was like, nah. Love this, too. Let me go back a little on that one. I love the way that transition is. I, like, that was so on purpose. To have a seamless transition up the stairs to the door and unlock the door. Love that. Right here. Boom. Seamless. No stopping. The cameraman never bumped into me. Nothing. Perfect. And also what I love is that's not an added sound effect. The front door. Open. That's actually how the door is. Like it makes that sound. So that was just perfect for the... Um... For the scene for the movie again i love the seamless shot of me coming in let's go a little forward all this is just whatever i'm sitting here and this is like a nod again i have a lot of nods to the original movie where you know michael's outside mixed with the phone call that um Lori gets so i kind of wanted to mesh that in i wish those two cars weren't there but Whatever. What could I do? So again, this is just like a nod to the original. And then I hate it how dark it looked too. I didn't like that, but that was the best take I had, was the, the dark take, so it's alright, it didn't look that bad. There was a lot of things I wish I could have changed, and I did want to go back, and let me pause it real quick, I did want to go back and redo a lot of the scenes, but then it was just, like, shooting was only supposed to be a week, but it just kept dragging because of the costume, and then I ended up getting sick, I think, and then... And then we had to shoot the Halloween scenes. I was like adamant, like we have to shoot on Halloween because I want to make sure you see trick-or-treaters and kids and costumes. And there's no way that I can get, you know, kids and costumes to be in my film or like even crowds like that. So it had to be on Halloween. So there was just so many like things that had to be so perfect. Like I know this seems like a simple whatever kind of basic film to you guys, but to me it was like, it had to be very particular, and there was a lot that went into it, and, um, yeah, like, it's just, I don't know, it just, it just kept dragging, and at that point, I was like, you know what, I can go look at this footage and forever say, I gotta change this, I have to change that, I have to change that, and just continue to film it over and over again. In the end, I was like, you know what, I redid a lot of things, and if I don't, release it then it's never going to get released because i'm always just going to be like oh no it should have been like this it should have been like that so when people ask me advice on like making videos or making a short film or something i always just say the same thing like just do it do it stop thinking about it stop planning it because if you don't then you're going to keep redoing and redoing it. it's never going to come out so yeah and also just shout out to veronica like such a babe oh i love her so much she's one of my favorite girls ever. And you know what's cool too? Is I've been in three movies with her already. So that's really cool. That's my baby. I love her. Let's go a little forward. Okay, then we get to the Halloween scenes. And I just, again, it was so dark. But I just wanted to get the scenes that had the most lighting, the most color. I just love the way this lens looks. Look at that. Beautiful. I really wanted to capture the essence of Halloween because this is Halloween. Oh, and, um, and also this little sliding shot here. I actually filmed that myself, so I was kind of proud. Yeah, that was cool. This I also filmed. Then I wanted to, I, I purposely wanted it to be like live, like Halloween, everything's going on and then I'm just at home like bored ready to go buy this pumpkin the way the music comes in on the scene oh I could die I love it 
And then this is just, see, that's the house, just really quick, because I just wanted to make sure the house was in the movie, but at the same time, like I said, it was just too difficult to film. I think this was, no, that wasn't Halloween night, that was another day, but yeah. So I just wanted the house in there, but it was just too hard to film. Then this was actually filmed after Halloween. I saw this pumpkin patch. Um, Like, they were taking it down, if you see the truck in the back. And then the car there, they were actually taking the pumpkins away because Halloween was over. But I was like, oh man, that's perfect. That way I can go and buy a pumpkin. See, that was like on a whim too. That wasn't planned at all. But it ended up working out. And then I actually had the pumpkin that I had from the movie in the car. So I took it out. Thank goodness. I pretended to walk in there, get it. And if you notice, that's why I don't have footage of me actually going in there because it was closed. But it was cool because I actually had the pumpkin. So I was able to pretend that I went in there and got it. Okay, then here is just a nod to the lorry waiting outside the house. That's the actual house. Then here, just walking around, I wanted to make sure to get Jason. If you see, there's a little Michael with the knife. Yes, I love that. That was coincidental. Love this scene too. Oh, it's beautiful. Then you see the hardware store there on your left. Then I love it here because the kid actually says, Hi, Michael Myers. And that was completely unplanned. So I really love that too. That worked out to my benefit. And I loved it because then it's like, you know, see so right here. Love that. Okay, then we just get back to the house. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I like this part. Um, when I put the the music from the shamrock, silver shamrock, love this, um, with the back door, it actually makes that noise, so that was convenient also. Okay, now let me tell you what I'm proud of here. I love the way the music, you still hear the TV, and then it fades. Oh, I love it. Watch. Oh, this is so good. It's already inside, and you hear the TV again. Oh, I love that part. Close it. Okay. I'm so proud of all of this. Like, I'm sorry if you guys think it sucks, but I love it everything like the whole editing everything actually i'm not sorry if you think it sucks so if you guys don't like it i mean dang i don't know i'm proud of it i love this part i wanted to make sure that he was walking down the hallway and then i purposely added the blue light to like kind of like a nod again and i wanted him to walk into the hallway with the blue light and then you see the knife this is what I wanted the most. That's that part, that little second is what I knew I wanted since I began writing this. This is what I knew I wanted. And the knife looks real, by the way. The thing with this was like, how the heck was I gonna scream and make all this ruckus and everything inside like a nice quiet neighborhood? So what I thought was, there's going to be this moment where he looks down at her and I'm like, please, no. And then he picks up the knife and then it goes to the hallway. So you don't see anything, but you hear like that there's some kind of altercation. And then I fall into the hallway. I love this so much. I love that it's like all shadowy. It's the best. super fake soft hit like yeah right he's down <laughs> then i get up okay this this phone call was improv and i wish it wasn't because i don't like it <laughs> love this And of course, no blood because there's no blood in the Halloween movie anyway. And this last part, you see Michael flipping the knife around and him in the room again. 
and about to take the mask off. That was all just Justin kind of hanging out, waiting for him to, waiting for us to be ready to film again. So, yeah. And that's it. That is Illinois in a nutshell, my commentary. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll leave a link for it in the description. Also for the limited time, budget, everything I had, I think this is pretty good. And um, if you guys don't like it, I mean, that's cool. That's fine. You don't have to like it, obviously. Everybody has different tastes. But I just want to say that if you don't like it and you have all these complaints about it, please send me a link to your short film so that way I could see if I like yours. Okay? So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And as always, just please remember to like this video if you like this video. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye! Thank you.